Did you know that there are more libraries than McDonald's in the U.S.? Chances are you probably have. It's an argument often used when trying to prove the value of libraries. And while this isn't much of an argument in favor of libraries, unless your opinion is swayed purely by book-to-Big Mac ratio, libraries have a lot of benefits that usually aren't brought up a lot. And while making a quick Google search on the greatest accomplishments of the Song Dynasty is a million times easier than driving to your local library and pouring through hundreds of pages of information to find the same answers. So in the sense of information, yeah, libraries have become largely obsolete. This is also somewhat true with the rise of Kindles and online books and other forms of media being available at the click of a button. I don't enjoy reading at all, but I love visiting my library. One thing that many people overlook is the community aspect of libraries, the kinds of people who meet up there, and the environment libraries offer. It's something I definitely overlooked for a long time, until my 8th grade year. By then, I was spending a lot of time in the library after school because I had to wait one or two hours for my parents to pick me up, but that was only because I had a computer. After a while, I got kind of bored of just doing my homework and decided I wanted to do something else, and I got up and saw a friend from my English class. And I started talking to them. And I didn't really know them that well, but we were all regulars at the library, and we started talking more and more every day, until we were basically best friends. Every day after school, we'd all meet up at the library and just hang out. But that wasn't the only part of the library that I looked forward to. We also had a librarian who was in many ways almost like a second mom to me. Every day we'd all hang out behind the desk with the librarian and we'd all talk about our days and our lives, sharing stories, and we all got really close. We were all from different cliques and groups, but we were all equal in that one place. Almost like a crappy version of the Breakfast Club. And to this day, I've never checked out a single book out of that library. But those memories and lessons that my librarian taught me, I'm never going to forget. And for me, whenever I think of a library, instead of thinking of a decrepit old wooden building with dusty books and grumpy librarians, I'll think of the days at my library, where we'd take change out of the bottom of pencil cups and hit the vending machine. Or when we'd go into the back of the library and dig out old yearbooks from 10 to 20 years ago and look at our teachers from back then. And that's what libraries will always be for me.